welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I am going to continue what I have started uh, in my previous video regarding management of foot pain uh, because of flat feet, plantar fasciitis, and hallux valgus. So to continue with that, I am going to show you some of the exercises that I have been doing for myself and also in the clinic with my patients. So here it goes. I'm so excited about it. control that pain on your medial arch um, when you get out of you know when you have that first step in the morning so before you get out of the bed there are at least three things that you can do you may or may not do all but at least you have something to do before you get out of the bed now you would do um, exercise uh, what I call the ankle pump Let me just remove it's an ankle pumps, but also wiggling the toes as well. So you got the option if you want something that you could lean on. It's a little bit um, tiring, uh, especially if you have tight hamstring and tight calf as well. Or you could lean back uh, just by supporting your hands. Okay, so you do ankle pumps as fast as you can. And also wiggle your toes. Okay, do that for as long as you can, two, three minutes, should be fine. And then what you're going to do next is what we call a ankle alphabet. Now what's that supposed to mean? So you just have to use the, your foot in writing the alphabet in the air. You have the option to do it either at uppercase or a lowercase, it doesn't matter. So you say, I'll do the upper cases. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> H, I, up until you reach Z. The idea there is that you do mobility on your ankle on a different directions. Okay. Um, the next one is um, stretching. You could use either um, a sheet or a towel, whatever is available for you, or you could use a belt. I use a belt because you could just loop around it and then just loop it around your foot. Okay, let me show you something. If you just put that in the middle of the foot, you probably might have just stretched the calf, which you need to do it as well but as you can see the toes are like pointing that way so you probably have would not be able to stretch the fascia so what you can do is you go a little bit higher up at least where the balls of the foot uh, are situated so you kind of like push that towards you oh it's staying on my calf I do have a calf tightness okay or you could if you could do that a little bit higher up all the way to the toes that would be good as well now I feel it more I feel it both in the calf 
and on the sole of my foot as well. So you could do this, ow, ow, let me just relax a little bit. So you could do this, you could start with just five seconds hold, you do it for like 10 times, or, and then you build your uh, tolerance to it. You could do a 10 seconds hold for 10 times until you could tolerate 15 seconds hold for like, what, five, seven times. Um, pretty much the goal is for you to hold it for 30 seconds hold times three, okay? Basically, you don't also, also don't want to like overstretch it as well, okay? So now when you're doing stretching, you might as well stretch the hamstring. A lot of people are like slouching to do it twitching that way. Probably that's not a really good idea. You will be as high up as possible. Your pelvis should be as straight as possible. So you can see, I can really feel my hamstring uh, stretch out. So I hold that for a little bit. And probably the, the heel would be like lifted out, making your knees or look, your lower leg as straight as possible. And then what you do is from here, it's like a log roll forward, reaching that. Ooh, that's the, <laughs> that's the only distance I can go. I could really feel it from my foot, ankle, uh, calf, hamstring as well. Now what you're gonna feel is just pulling sensation. It should not be pain, okay? Now, just go just beyond to what you can uh, tolerate. Do not really like other people would just like jump in and do it right away. Um, even if uh, it's like too painful for them, people would think no pain, no gain. That's not necessarily always true, okay? Stretching is pretty much more in a gradual process, not necessarily to jump in right away. Uh, we call that bagiastic stretching. That's really... I uh, would put you at risk for uh, micro tears, okay? All right, so that is all for uh, the video this morning. Um, on the next lesson, the next of the series, I will show you um, the massage part of the foot. Um, when you are having this pain on the medial arches. Okay, see you there.